you want to hear a joke? Sure! Bazooka Joe is showing a friend a fossilized bone. The friend asks, how old is it? And Bazooka Joe responds that it is 100 million and three years old. How do you know that? asks the friend. Bazooka Joe responds, the museum expert told me it was 100 million years old. And that was three years ago. <laughs> I don't get it. Sig figs are the meaningful digits in a measurement. The last digit in any measurement is the first uncertain digit. This makes it the last significant figure. Exact numbers, or numbers not obtained by measurement, contain an infinite number of significant figures. Some examples of exact numbers are 12 hippotamuses, pi, and 5 people. But how do we know which numbers are significant? Well, Sally, the rules for significant figures are leading zeros are never significant. As in the number 0 .000682, the first three zeros are not counted, and the last three digits are the significant digits. Embedded zeros are always significant, as in the numbers 1.072 and 4005, all the digits are significant. Trailing zeros, however, are only significant if there is a decimal point placed after them, as in the numbers 300 and 300 point. In the first number, only 3 is significant, while all three numbers are significant in the second. When adding and subtracting numbers, the last digit retained is set by the first doubtful digit. In other words, the final answer must be rounded to the decimal place that corresponds to the least accurately known number. When multiplying and dividing numbers, the answer contains no more significant figures than the least accurately known number. But what's the point? Significant figures deal with the precision of the measurement. In other words, they ensure that each measure will be very repeatable and that each repeat of a measure will be very similar in value. However, that value of the measure may still be inaccurate. By determining how many sig figs we want our result to have, we can decide which type of equipment is appropriate for a given experiment. For example, in a titration, the important value is the number of moles of titrant. The volume isn't as important and can be measured with a beaker instead of a graduated cylinder. However, a good balance is needed when weighing out the standard so we get an accurate re uh, reading for the number of moles. Moreover, the precision of your experiment is directly related to how believable your result is. The more precise a measure, the smaller deviation your experiment will have overall. This small standard deviation shows that the result wasn't due to random chance, and we can therefore show a correlation. Sig figs are a friend, precision they do lend. Our measures are correct when we can detect the sig figs in our chemistry, always helping you and me.